Welcome back to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's top 7 ghost stories will take you to haunted places in North Dakota. All that's really left of this tiny town is an abandoned brick home, some dirt roads, unusable bridges, a cemetery, and an old yet charming church and parsonage. Not only will this area give you the kind of chills associated with being somewhere abandoned, but it's got a paranormal past, too. The parsonage has long been considered haunted by a woman who once lived there, sometimes referred to as the Grey Lady. According to old news reports, people who took residence in the parsonage were often scared out by the ghost and wouldn't last long there before choosing to leave. The Fort Totten historic site has been through quite a wild history. As the name would suggest, it was originally a military post built in the late 1800s with various buildings and living quarters. It later became an Indian boarding school and, very briefly, a tuberculosis preventorium. There have been many accounts of ghostly encounters at Fort Totten. That has given it the reputation of being one of the most haunted places in the state. In 1898, the then governor of North Dakota, Frank Briggs, died of tuberculosis in the master bedroom of the house. According to legend, his spirit never left the house. Visitors to the mansion and people who work there today have heard footsteps, seen doors open and close on their own, and have even recorded a ghostly voice saying not to go up into the attic. Many people believe there is definitely something paranormal going on here. The deteriorating walls of this huge hospital complex does indeed hold a mysterious and dark past. This sanatorium was once used for treating tuberculosis patients, and it later became an insane asylum before closing its doors due to highly questionable practices, being performed on the patients as well as bad living conditions for them. What horrors happened within these walls are unspeakable, and today the entire grounds stand vacant and are slowly withering away. Vandals have contributed greatly to its decline, and many people claim that there are tortured souls still lingering here. This historic building in Williston is over a hundred years old. It is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places and looks quite majestic from the outside. On the inside, however, it is known to be haunted. Mannequins in the building have been reported to move on their own and disembodied whispering has been heard inside. The legend of White Lady Lane is one that sends chills down people's spines. This rural road near Leroy, North Dakota is said to have sightings of a woman in white who was either killed on that road or killed herself, depending on the urban legend you hear. Many people have claimed to see her ghostly apparition on the side of the road at night. It may seem like the unlikeliest place to find a ghost, but believe it or not one of the most haunted locations in North Dakota is Medora Fudge and Ice Cream Depot. There is just one ghost inside and she only appears once a year on her birthday. However, all year round there are unnatural cold spots and strange noises, she just doesn't manifest apart from on her birthday. I want to thank you for listening to our top 7 ghost stories. And until then, good night.